Welcome one and all. How are you doing? My name is C Truth. I am a host of Thermal Soundwaves and Indie Review. And today we are doing a special, special coverage. We're talking to some artists, some filmmakers, a film filmmaker in particular today. Um, that's going to be at the Conchell International Film Festival. We'll make sure y'all come out. That's going to be live and in the flesh in Queens, Forest Hills, New York City. Make sure you come out for more information. Conchelliff.com is where here you go, folks. Uh, joining me today is someone with extreme talent, as we only only require at uh, Conchell International Film Festival. Uh, she's a filmmaker, uh, talented uh, entertainer, writer, director, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, she goes by the name of Gabri Krista. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. It's so great to be here, C Truth. I love it. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, absolutely, and uh, we love having you here. And for those who are unfamiliar with with Gabri, uh, what section of the world do you represent? Well, I was born and raised in Curacao, Dutch Caribbean. Um, you know, Dutch colony still, I might add, even though we have a little uh, different status. Um, yeah, and I am here with a film from Suriname, where my that is from where my dad is from. I have a lot of family in Suriname as well, which is still also part of the Caribbean, we feel. Oh yeah, yeah. Cousins. Yeah. It's cousins. Like cousins, yes, hundred percent. Guyana, French Guyana, Suriname, that's that's, that's all of our cousins. So yes. <laughs> it's it's all the same family. All the same yes, family. Hundred percent. Absolutely, yes. And big up to uh my my godmother who was married in Curacao. Um, many well, many years ago, um, mm -hmm. great great place, and I was in Aruba some months ago, just just mm -hmm. next door. So, um, very very great part of the world that that whole area that that section. Yeah. Um, when did you get interested in in doing film and making film and and telling stories? Well, it's a bit of a long story, but the short version is. Growing up in Curacao, you know, you just make things like I did. You know, we make things with what we have, not much to do. Um, so I started actually writing and one day started making dances. And also I was mentored by Felix de Roy and Norman De Palm, really uh, well-known filmmakers actually in the Caribbean did films such as Avan Gabriel. Um, they were living in Curacao at the time. So my first thing in film was that I... Um, was in their films, their first film. Mm -hmm. um, then I started dancing. So I became a choreographer first. And that was my career till, um, still is to a certain extent, but then that was that career because I was like, I have a window on being a choreographer and we'll pick up the film later. Meanwhile, I did some assistant production in, uh, uh, Amasita di Desolato, also from Felix and Norman. Ernest Dickerson was the DP. So I've been behind the scenes a little bit. Um, never really interested in being in front of the camera, actually. And um, then one day I just felt like I couldn't say what I wanted to say anymore in the way I wanted to say it on stage. And I started making films. Um, dance films, experimental films, documentary. I mean, also a producer of Tula. Revolt, which is a feature film uh, shot in Curacao about our, um, you know, our slaves' revolts and slave people's revolt. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much sort of the short, the short of it. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. I'm looking at your your rings. Is that shells that is made out of the, the rings that you have on? Like, what is, what no, is that exactly? Stones. I'm really into you know stones and natural things and. What and the, the energies of crystals and stuff like that energy of crystals and all of that and then gotcha. this is special for today it's a little bean from uh suriname gotcha gotcha uh who who are the original people of curacao and the original language uh, are you familiar with all of that could you oh of course well as all, everywhere else in the world with the original people were of course arawaks the native people who have we have none left um, and then the imported enslaved people uh, from uh, Africa. And then our language in Curacao, native language, 
is Papiamento, which is originally a mix of uh, Guinea from West Africa and um, Portuguese, which were the first ones. And then, you know, it's evolved, but it's still one of the few islands who had that as a language of resistance, I would say. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. And the film that is going to be in Conchelle this year, can you, I, I don't want to mess up the pronunciation. So if you could do that and tell us the name of the film. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can say the, uh, the, the, the translation of it. It's the uh, Silk Cotton Tree. Is okay. the country. It's all over the Caribbean and um, it's like the giant of the forest. It's a tree that people never cut. It's the tree, it's huge, and you see them in the landscape. Um, it's also the tree that people in Suriname believe houses the ancestors. So we mm. always, you know, you see things under the tree um for the ancestors and so in the end of the film you i have a ceremony with a shaman um and it's actually total coincidence or no coincidence of course <laughs> on yes. the giant can country um and so can country is how the people in suriname call this silk cotton tree the giant of the forest and the film uh, follows a woman of Suriname, from Suriname who enters a place of worship, in this case, an old synagogue, um, which has this sand floor. So it's a gorgeous place. And she cannot leave the place until she confronts and dances and does the rituals with all of her ancestors. And as you might know in Suriname, but also a lot of the other Caribbean islands, uh, we first had the enslaved people and then curious and then Suriname got all the contractees, the contract workers. So it's a mixture of um, people from India specifically, people from Java. So it's a little bit different than the other islands, Java, Indonesia, uh, China. Um, there are the native peoples, the, the African people, the lo largest, uh, Suriname has the largest maroon societies, the runaway slaves. Uh, who were became independent and gained independence in 1700 already. So there's a really mm. large in the inlands in the Amazon uh, that and they've kept their um, all their customs and dances. Um, and then uh, yeah, so the White Dutch and the Jewish people who controversially were um, slaveholders there, um, and so. There's no language in the film. It's basically you see the wo woman dancing with all her ancestors in and out of the synagogue because in her mind, she travels, we travel to the different places um, in there. And then she participates, dances, and she incorporates and gets her bossy in the end. And then she is free to leave and is healed because she embraced all of her ancestors and part of it was embracing all of her ancestors but often we um we say well we're just african people but i think most of us are actually mixed people um and there are painful parts in that mixture and so it's not about that but it is about embracing all of that by how we are here which is through music and dance and that keeps us strong and that's, so that's, that's what we really wanted to do as a dance film. It's a dance. Gotcha, gotcha. Film. Yes, yes. That that is the connection. Uh, that is the communication the through the music and the dance, through the movement, yeah. through the sound, through exactly. all of that is is how we've always stayed connected, even through struggle. Um, right, and and that gives us the power to also find the joy to like, you know, mix it all in in our food, in our dances, in, in you know, in everything, and. Um, so it's very much about that, the story in a way we know, but I think it's told in a different way. I didn't do a documentary. There's a lot of interpretation in it. Um, a festival recently in India, it was in a festival in India, and they, they build it as a magic realism doku dance film. <laughs> like, That's exactly what it is. Yay. Yay of, putting, <laughs> yay of, of naming it, you know? Yes, yes, absolutely. We are talking to filmmaker Gabri Krista, also choreographer as well. 
writer as well. Um, many, many different talents. We don't want to limit them. Um, she's going to be at the Conchelle and Central Film Festival this year, live in the flesh in Queens, Forest Hills. Make sure you come out and join us, conchelleiff.com for more information. Um, how much did you learn yourself doing this film or did you have a, a great knowledge already on some of the things that you covered? I what did you, what did you learn, I should say? Well, the process of learning was before when I first went to Suriname and um, started digging into my own past that I didn't know, you know, like I did a new part. I knew the black story. I knew the Chinese story, but not the other stories. And um, so it's been a 10 process. It took me 10 years to actually finally make this film because it's hard to get the story also because of a lot of issues um, just in making the kind of work I make. It's not commercial. Um, it's in very much also an art documentary, like it's that. Um, and so I did a deep dive into the whole history. I'm very much, it's in there. And then even on my website, I have all the links to where you are, what is the Yoda Savanna, you know, like what is, like mm. go back. If you're interested, you don't have to do it. I don't like to lecture people. It's just like, if you're interested, you can go to my site and find all the information about all the sites and some of the histories. I have a bibliography if you really want to know more, but I hope that people just feel the spirit of it because it's really very much about the spirit of the ancestors, the music and dance. Um, but I, I know a lot. I can I can start talking to you for four hours. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Uh, so yeah, and um, so yeah, so. I know a lot about it and I did my research on it. That's basically that. The so, to that. Sorry about that. Yeah. So for those who, who want to find out more, uh, tell them what the website is so they can go and do some uh, research. Yeah, it's so it's my name, dot com, com, and then Can Country. Yeah, sure. So work Can Country. But if you just do GabriKrista.com, you should get to my website and you should see the you should see it. Gotcha. And all your social media is the same? Gabby Krista? At well, Instagram? Like actually Shaolin Films. <laughs> okay. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. And one last question. Um, your daughter, like, what does she uh, think about what that, that, that what, what you're doing, the film and, and such? What, what is her opinion on all of it? Um, well, she was very inspired also because it's a story of her, she also dances, I dance, my dad was a dancer. Um, I think that's how he survived all his, you know, the family's trauma by being a dancer. And so it's very much part of our lineage. And um, my husband, Vernon Reed is also, his folks are from Montserrat. So there's, you know, great interest in the islands and what it brings. And interesting enough, she identifies as Caribbean American. Okay. She's born here, which I was like, oh, okay. You know, that, right, 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 right. Um, and my husband is identifies as American. <laughs> Although, right, right, right. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I think there could be a whole conversation on that whole thing. Oh, oh. We should, <laughs> <laughs> alone, alone. Because it's yeah, so much. Yeah, and what absolutely. that means for everybody, yeah, yeah. right? Because it's like, I think we from the islands that are more Latin influenced on the level, because we're in coast of Venezuela, but then we have the Curacao thing. It's, it's different. We have so much in common with the other islands, and yet at the same time, we have our differences. Right. In right. What where you're closest to, or what your language is. Yeah, a lot of it's like language based. Right. Um, but it's also just such a beautiful. It's such a beautiful, amazing culture, all of the Caribbean. Absolutely. Because we're, I feel like we're so inventive. And yeah. I'm very grateful that uh, Kongsha International Film Festival um, took this film because it's more experimental. And a lot of Korean film festivals don't really include um, experimental or um, are a little bit more traditional, we say. And I, it speaks to their openness to embracing all of what we are Caribbean people are because we're not one thing. Gotcha. Also, gotcha. what we make, right? We artists, we make different things. Oh yeah. Oh, so I'm I'm excited about that. Them having an experimental category, 
um, and all the other categories they have. So you get a big variety of who we are as people. Yes. We make avant-garde work too. We we experiment. We are not yeah. traditional. Listen, and so original we, original people of the world, which means yeah. everything came from there. So everything. So that means we do it all. It's we not just that. one thing. <laughs> um, real quick, do do you teach at all? Like, yeah, I teach. I teach. Uh, I teach uh, film and I teach dance at Barnard. Okay, because I, I was gonna suggest that you do teach because you have a lot that people can can gain from. I would say. Yeah. So, but, but you're already doing that, so. Okay, yeah, cool. I'm, I'm doing that with the screen dance and learning how to choreograph the camera, which you will see in my in my film. It's a lot of moving camera and that juxtaposition so a little different shots kind of different shots different take on how you edit and uh, a real belief in in audiences that they can go into it if you give them permission to say hey just go with the flow feel what you feel you know and and that's happened so the film is actually doing really well so i'm excited about that although i need to hire an assistant <laughs> <laughs> and to too many places which is great but also um, a bit labor intensive on my end, but you know, I'm, I'm producer too. So there you have that. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, listen, we appreciate you taking time out uh, for coming through and maybe, you know, your daughter could join you next time instead of calling you and she could actually speak upon her experiences, you know, with the film yeah, I know, and I know, what, I know. what it is that she's doing. <laughs> but we, we thank you for taking time out and joining us and make sure everybody come out She's going to be at the Conchell International Film Festival this year, live in the flesh in Queens, Forest Hills, conchellif.com for more information. And we will see you all soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Great to meet you. Beautiful. Yes, yes, absolutely. You. See you all at the right. festival. See you at the festival. Take care. Bye. Take care. Yes, bye-bye. All right, folks, we got more to come. But for right now, that is it. Peace, be well.